All right, the body of the guitar. It's our first thing we should really memorize, and of course, it has a body. <laughs> no kidding. It has a head. It's got a neck right here. It's got a body right here. It's got a, a top. It's got a sides. It has a back, okay? And it has six strings. One, two, three, four, five, six. Our high string is string number one, and our low string is string number six. Take your thumb and pluck the low E string with your thumb and take your first finger and pluck the high string with your first finger. Okay? Those are both E notes. Alright? And we'll get into naming the strings in a second. So it, it has okay, our arm over the top part of the side of the body here and then our hand is going to come down and rest right on top of the sound hole and here's the sound hole right here. And then we have the strings that go up the neck. And we have these, these little bars, metal bars that go all the way up the neck. You might have 18 or 20 of these. And these are frets, okay? And we're going to be putting our finger behind each of these frets. And we're going to be making these strings change length in order to go and play notes on the guitar in half steps. So each of these steps is like a black and white key on the piano going up half steps, okay? And now on the headstock here, we have our tuning pegs right here, six of them, one for each string. We have a part where the strings flow over the top, that's called the nut, and then they flow over all the way down the neck, over the body, and they fall over another piece down here called the saddle. And that sits inside this piece here, which is glued to the top, and this is called the bridge. Bridge, saddle, strings, we have the nut. You may have a end pin here that you can plug in or not for a strap. You also may not have one of those. You also can have these little dots either on the edge of your neck like this here. So you might have one for third, fifth, seven, nine, and you may have two dots for the octave on the 12, okay? So you can look at that. Some people have their dots actually on the neck itself, which is really nice to see. And those are reference points to help us find and locate chords when we're playing the guitar neck, all right? So holding the guitar is very important. And so we have a basic uh, body understanding of the body. And of course we have our big body here. We have our big bout here and our small bout. And then notice please that we have this little indentation and that's where our knee is going to fit our leg there. There it is. See this knee or this knee, or you can sit the guitar up like this in a classical style and play like that. Okay. All right. Enjoy.